You guys, my kids made 256% return on their investment in the stock market. Hi guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know that I'm so glad that you're here. On this channel, I talk about personal finance, debt payoff, productivity, and everything that makes your finances easier. This video is part of a series that I'm doing on kids and finances. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new content. So the first thing that you need to have is a custodial account for your kids. This is a UGMA account or a UTMA account. Depends on what your state has to offer. My state is a UGMA account. So what these accounts basically are is a place that you can put your children's money. So if they get gifts or if you wanna invest in their future, then you can put money into these accounts and you as the parent can invest the money in different things to try to help them increase their, uh, their value on their, on their account. Anyone can put money into these accounts. If grandparents want to have a place where they can put money to invest for their grandchildren, things like that, then they can put it into your UGMA account that you've created in your children's name that you are in charge of until they become of age. Some states that's 18, other states is 21. My state is 21, I live in Ohio. The thing that you need to remember about the UGMA account is that it is the property of your child. So you cannot use this money for anything other than for the child. So you can't go and buy a house or pay off debt or um, buy a new car, things like that. You can't do those things with this account money because in the future, if your children found out about it and they were upset about it, they could sue you for the losses that they took on their accounts. So you can only use the money for the children's needs. Another thing that you have to remember is that you cannot do anything about what they choose to use this money for whenever they become of age. So a key thing here is that you're going to want to teach your children financial literacy, and you're going to want to make sure that they're responsible with money before they become of age. And I'm actually going to be doing a video covering uh, what the kids don't learn in schools and also some financial literacy learning for children in this series. So be sure to subscribe so that you can be part of this series. Another very important thing that you need to know about UGMA accounts or UTMA accounts is that it will affect your children's ability to get financial aid whenever they go to college. So they do have to claim the account as an asset on their financial aid uh, forms. So that is something that, that you need to keep in consideration whenever you do create these accounts, if that's something that you're concerned about. Something else to know about these is that there are no contribution limits onto these accounts. So essentially they can contribute as much to these accounts as possible. And it's, it's really great for you to be able to invest that money for them and them not have any contribution limits on it. A lot of people think that 529 accounts are the only way that you can save for your children's future. However, that's just not true. I actually prefer these accounts to save for my child's future and college and things of that nature because with a 529 account, you can run into situations where say your child decides to join the military, well now their college is gonna be paid for by the military and all of that money that you put away for them in a 529 account is completely worthless because you can only pay for tuition or school co school related costs out of a 529 account. And you as the parent are the one who's going to be paying the fees associated with taking that money out for something that is not college related. Now I'm going to get into how both of my boys, a five month old and a seven year old earn 256% return on their investment in the stock market. So I'm going to use my five month old as an example. We purchased a stock called APT for $93.87, which purchased us 13 shares of the stock. Whenever we sold these stocks, we actually sold them for $240.62. 
giving us the 256% return on our investment. And we did that all in a matter of days. So we purchased these stocks on the 25th of February and we sold them on the 28th of February. So it was a really short term buy, but it was just a way for us to gain some capital into our accounts. Generally, I typically prefer putting my money into long-term investments like the Vanguard like the Vanguard S&P 500 stock, which is where most of the money that are in these accounts are. So I like to buy and hold index funds that follow the S&P 500 and reflect that because it is just, in my opinion, the best way to retirement plan for a very extended period of time. So that's the reason why most of the money is in index funds. However, we keep a little bit, just a little bit of money in the accounts so that we can do things like this that are gonna be kind of short term, quick turnaround, just gaining capital into the account so that we can buy more of the index funds down the road without necessarily having to put more money into the account. So another great way that you can help your children plan for their financial future is to open up a Roth IRA for them. So I actually did a video on Roth IRAs. I'm gonna go ahead and put that Roth IRA video up in the YouTube card for you so that you can check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with someone who needs to hear it. Please comment below the things that you've done for your children, for their financial futures. What kind of accounts have you opened? What kind of investments have you made for your children for the future? Check out the YouTube cards to see how children could get a Roth IRA in their name. Until next time, live your best life. Bye guys. Check out this video that YouTube thinks that you'll like. And also, please follow me on social media. There's my Instagram handle and my Facebook group name.